Well, Suge Knight is planning to tell his life story. He's going to do something similar to BMFs, according to sources with direct knowledge. They told, did you know TMZ has a hip-hop division? Yeah, TMZ they, hip-hop? They had a show. I don't know if it's still on. Oh. Mm-hmm. TMZ Hip Hop? Yeah, they had a show. Okay, well, <laughs> according to sources, they said the series will have a similar feel to BMF with plenty of plot time to tell Suge's pre-music industry backstory as a kid growing up in Compton who wanted to be a football coach. He had an interesting he has an interesting story, so I'm I'm inter- I would love to see this. I wonder if Ray J gonna be involved at all. Oh, you know. Because <laughs> Ray J has the rights to his life story. That's what I thought. So I can't imagine that. He wouldn't be, right? I don't know. Okay. We, we should ask him. We should. We have his number. We text do. him. Text and do a deep dive. We got a group text on with him, so we'll, we'll hit him up. All right. Now, Elon Musk is saying now that only paid subscribers, he's really trying to make people buy these blue checks on listen, Twitter, listen. will show up in your Twitter for you feed. So Twitter is only going to promote paid subscribers' tweets, and non-subscribers will not be allowed to vote in polls. So... If you don't know what the For You tab is, it's the first screen that you see when you open the app. Okay. And they carry tweets by using an algorithm. Mm-hmm. So that means it can surface tweets from people who you don't even follow. This is not getting... Which, by the way, is annoying on Instagram. This is not fun anymore, mm-hmm. Angela. Yes. And soon the For You tab will only recommend people if you're paying for that uh, Twitter blue service starting April 15th. He okay. said only verified accounts will be eligible to be in for you recommendations. This is the only realistic way to address advanced AI bots swarming swarms taking over. It is otherwise a hopeless losing battle. Voting in polls will require verification for the same reason. I am sick of the bots on Instagram and Twitter, FYI. So I don't know if I want to pay eighty four dollars, but okay. I saw Mark Cuban went ahead and paid for that blue check. And what did Mark Cuban say? Um, he was hoping that I guess he was losing um, followers. Okay. And so he thought that would help slow it down. He said it didn't. But he said he does appreciate the fact that he can tweet longer. Angela, if you did not have a blue check, would you spend $84 for this uh, feature of Twitter? How much is it? $7 a month? or It's $8. Oh, I, I, right? I, why, did I think, why did I say 84 So it's $8 a month. 84 a year. Okay. Okay. Would I do that? Yes, Angela. Would you do know, that? I don't, I don't know if I care about a check that much. Okay. Well, me might not care because you have a check, Angela. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. What is go- what was but it? I never had to pay for it. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I said if you don't, if you didn't have it. Yeah, I don't know that I would pay for a check. Okay. I also kind of feel like I don't. Also, don't want to see people in my for you feed. Listen, because sometimes I see some things I don't. I really do not want to see. Yeah. And so. I don't, I just leave it there. All right. Now, Little Wayne is disputing his net worth on Google. Okay. Now, according to reports. He is worth over $160 million. Okay. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. But I could see it. I could, too. Now, he did an interview with Culture Millennials, and he said he would call his agent because why am I not having this money? Here's what he said. (laughs) Is it close, or is it off, or is it... Honestly, then I'm going to let everybody know now. Yeah. So when you go check the network, and that be saying some crazy numbers. Right. I don't have a cent close to that Really? Right. Yeah, I don't have that, but I guess they be meaning that's what I'm worth. So I be always calling my agent, like, I'm telling you, bro, I'm going to fire you the <laughs> out you because I don't need you. Or Google let me know what I, you know what I mean? And he's like, no, it's not I true. Mean, it's I'm not like, true. I'm a zillion dollars <laughs> on Google. Let me see how much my worth is. I, girl, I was literally do- you was doing a deep dive. Of you, yes. What is my net worth? I think it probably depends on where you look. I never looked. All right, let's see. Angela's net worth is approximately $7 million. This okay. one says $6.5 million. Oh. This one says two million. Okay. This one says uh, six point five million dollars as of twenty twenty three. This one, let Girl, me see. Girl, you are rich. Yeah, rich. I see seven you million on some of these. Okay. Let's huh. see. Okay. But one of them says two million. So. All right. All right, guys. Okay. Um, now, Questlove is going to direct a live action hybrid adaptation of the Aristocats. And he's doing that for Disney. Okay, I'm not familiar. The Aristocats was originally released in 1970. Oh, no, by the no, way, no, it's an animated familiar. classic. Okay. And so people are saying that he's gonna make his feature film directorial debut with a reimagined version of that film for Walt Disney Studios. So, by the way, Questlove is always booked and busy. He, he's super talented, and I feel like he touches a few things. Like he's not one dimensional at all. Right. I mean, he directed his uh, documentary, Summer of Soul. Uh, Did you see that, Angela? Yes. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was amazing. It got critical acclaim across the board. Mm -hmm. Um, He got an award for best 
best documentary feature at but, the Oscars. That kind of got overshadowed. And then he got the best. I know <laughs> he got the best music film at the 64th annual Grammy Awards a week later. So okay. shout out to him. He has his podcast, Quest Love Supreme. Mm-hmm. He got best music podcast at the iHeart Podcast Awards for that. Mm-hmm. You know, he's an author. He has a lot of titles. He's yeah. a film, music journalist, an actor. He's an actor. Do you know he was an actor, Angela? What, what are you acting? I don't know, but his wiki says he was a, I did a, a shallow dive, and it said he's an actor, so we're just going to leave it there. Okay? All right. Well, that is your Yee T. I'm Angela Yee, and we do have A. Marie joining us shortly. We also have Ask Yee coming up, and we have Women's History Month. When we come back, we're going to highlight some amazing women. It's Way Up with Angela Yee.